some of the best stocks just seem out of reach for most investors. Shares of companies like Amazon and Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway have created millionaires but cost thousands of dollars each. In this video, I'll show you how to buy these stocks with as little as $1, how to ride these stocks higher. I'll share everything you need to know about fractional share investing and then reveal the top five stocks to buy with just $1 a day. We're talking fractional investing today on Let's Talk Money. Hey Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue here with the Let's Talk Money channel and you know I gotta send that special shout out to all you out there in the nation. Thank you for spending a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. Nation, you know we love the penny stocks here on the channel. Those stocks under a dollar or five dollars a share with the potential to 10x your money. But there's another side of the stock market that a lot of investors are missing. According to data from Fidelity, the median American household has $40,000 invested in the market with the average amount in each stock under $600. Now that means shares of Tesla are just out of reach even after the split this year to make the shares cheaper. That's an 81% annual return over the last five years that most investors just couldn't afford. Shopify has produced a 100% annual return over the last five years. That's double your money every single year, but how many investors can afford a $1,300 per share price? And this is where fractional share investing comes in, a new way to invest that opens up a whole new world to anyone and lets you invest any amount in any stock. Now first, I wanna start with the basics of fractional share investing, how it works, and how to use it to invest in $1,000 stocks like Amazon and Berkshire Hathaway. I'll then reveal the five stocks I'm buying and how far your daily dollar invested can go. I'll be using Webull to invest in these stocks, a no-fee app that lets you invest in fractional shares as well as options, ETFs, and cryptocurrency. I love the stock simulator on Webull, a million dollar paper portfolio tool that lets me follow my strategies and stocks before I invest real money. Click through the link I'll leave in the description below and you'll get two free stocks worth up to $1,000 when you open an account. Fractional share investing is a great service provided by some investing apps where you can invest any amount in any stock no matter how high the share price. For example, in the past, if you wanted to buy shares of Amazon, you would have had to save up that cash to buy a full share. That's more than $3,000 just sitting in your account before you can buy a single share. With fractional share investing though, you put in your order for any amount. You can invest $5 and that amount, that 0.15% of a share is gonna be put into your portfolio. There are no extra fees for fractional investing. As some apps do restrict it to a limited number of stocks, but you can find most of the stocks on the Webull app. The minimum investment here is $5. So if you're investing that dollar a day, you're gonna to have to save it up and buy your stock once a week. Buying fractional shares is no different than buying a whole share. You'll go into the order screen on your app and here, instead of putting in how many shares you wanna buy, you're gonna put in how much you want to invest. You're gonna get that same no fee investing and the fraction of share is gonna go into your account. Another question I get a lot about fractional shares is do they pay dividends and how does that work? And again, the answer is exactly the same as any other type of investing. You'll get that fraction of the dividend according to how many shares you own. So for example, if I invest $175 for half a share of Lockheed Martin and it pays that $2.60 per share quarterly dividend, I'm gonna receive a dividend payment of $1.30 for my half share. And when you wanna sell your fractional shares, it works exactly the same as well. You're gonna sell that fraction of a share that you own, get that same share price that you'd get if you had a whole share. So in that prior example, if I owned that half a share of Lockheed Martin, then I would sell it for $350 times one half or $175. Now I wanna highlight five stocks for that fractional share investing strategy, five companies with shares over $250 each that you might not otherwise be able to buy. For these picks, I looked for stocks with a share price over $250 each, those stocks perfect for fractional investing. I also screened for companies with strong sales growth over the last five years and progressively higher operating margins. Now that means not only are these companies growing their revenue, but they're getting more efficient at turning those sales into profits. Now that quick screener left me about 30 stocks from which to narrow it down to these top five here. Our first stock is one of my favorites for the theme, $47 billion Fortinet, ticker FTNT, at $291 a share. The company is the only pure play cybersecurity firm in the S&P 500 with over 500,000 customers worldwide and 1,200 plus patents to its software. Cybersecurity is one of those universal forces that I'm watching over the next decade with a 10X increase in ransomware attacks just in the last year. This is exactly the kind of theme that you need to be investing in and fractional shares is gonna let you add to your portfolio every week. Fortinet is the second largest cyber company by revenue and has a strong advantage in its ASIC technology. 
Now that's helped drive revenue growth of more than 20% annually since 2018, and that trend in cybersecurity should just help drive demand for years. Not only has the company grown revenue, but management has improved that operating profitability by more than 3% over the last three years to a 26% operating margin. Now that's more than double the average margin for competitors and has helped this stock produce a 55% annualized return over the last five years. And here you can see the power of that fractional investing strategy. Investing just a dollar a day over the last five years, you would have invested just over $1,200 total and hold almost 19 shares of the stock for a value of $5,400. That's more than four times your money on just $1 a day. We've still got four more stocks to highlight, but there are a couple of ways you can use this fractional share investing. You can save up that dollar a day and invest every five days in that same stock or invest in a different stock each week. For example, you might invest across four stocks from this list, buying $5 of one each week once a month. You don't see ServiceNow, ticker NOW, in the headlines quite as much, but that $600 stock has posted a 49% annual return over the last five years. The company is a leader in IT software services, serving 80% of the Fortune 500 companies with a 40% market share in its core IT service management. So it's locked in those customers with a 98% retention rate and is now expanding out into IT operations management. The company has grown revenue by 37% annually and posted a 4.6% operating margin last year from an operating loss in 2018. So this one is just growing into its profitability years. Investing in fractional shares, you would have more than tripled your money and built a position of more than six shares in ServiceNow over the last five years. Next on our list is the big one, Amazon, ticker AMZN. At $3,300 a share is really just beyond the reach of most investors without that fractional strategy. Amazon dominates its markets from e-commerce to cloud services and now in streaming with Prime. The company has grown sales by 30% a year over the last five years, and that's including throughout last year. And what's amazing about that is considering that means adding upwards of $100 billion a year in revenue. Management's focus has always been reinvesting to grow the business, but even on that strategy, the operating margin has improved to 6.6% from, from just 5% in 2018. So we're just now starting to see that shift to profitability that could boost earnings from here. And now I will admit, I've always thought that Amazon was just too expensive at $500 a share, then at 1,000, then at 2,000 a share, and well, you get the point. The shares just trade well above the market on that price to earnings basis. And right now shares are at over like 50 times earnings, but management is arguably the best in the world at growing the company and the shares just keep heading higher. Amazon is gonna to continue to shape the world in which we live and you wanna be a part of that. Even on investing that dollar a day over the last five years, you still wouldn't have a full share, but you would have more than doubled your money. That investment of $1,258 would have bought you 0.8 shares worth just over $2,600 over the period. Tesla, ticker TSLA, split its shares five for one last year, which brought that price down from $2,000 to $500, but, but now it's all the way back up to almost $800 a share. And even the Tesla skeptics here can't deny that the company is reaching that growth phase that rationalizes the stock price. Deliveries were up 121% on a year-over-year -year basis last quarter to 200,000 shipped, and total production topped 206,000 in the three months alone. That's up 151% over the year. The company doubled its revenue to $12 billion last year, and new factories in Texas and China should help drive that growth for years to come. Better still, operating income quadrupled from a 5.4% operating profitability to over 11% in the quarter, so we are starting to see some real earnings growth here. Now that production growth in the EV component is what everyone wants to talk about, but I'm actually more interested in the robo-taxis. The autopilot program has hit its snags, but Tesla is actively testing with a new full self-driving beta in July, and, and the market for robo-taxis over the next five years is going to be huge. Buying 16 shares of Tesla would cost you over $12,000 right now, but on that $1 a day fractional share strategy, you would have gotten a 10x return on your investment over those five years. Autodesk, ticker ADSK, at $288 a share is the industry standard for software and computer-aided design. The company provides business software in architecture, engineering, and construction, which means it could benefit from the increased infrastructure spending over the next few years. The company has grown its revenue at a 17% pace and accelerated it recently to 19% year-over-year growth in that first quarter. And and a 35% increase in free cash flow. Management is estimating 25% growth in the addressable market to $78 billion by 2026. 
Now that would put the current market share right around 6.5%, which is a strong leadership position, but still leaves room for growth in that market share as well as the overall market growth. Beyond the potential to continue its strong double-digit revenue growth, Autodesk has improved its operating margin from less than 1% in 2019 to 15% over the last four quarters, which is a huge improvement. And even on the lowest return in the group, you still would have doubled your money investing just a dollar a day in fractional shares of Autodesk for a 15% annualized return at almost nine shares of the stock. These fractional share stocks have some great upside potential, and I love the theme of investing whatever you want in a stock. Now, if you do want to buy that whole shares of stock for less than $5 each, I just did a penny stock video for that 10x potential. Check out that video linked in the description below or click on the video to the right for the seven monthly dividend stocks that will pay your rent. My favorite dividend stocks for that constant cash flow. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.